and welcome guys this is cats this is technically stage three of the paper clay bowls the stage two was where we took the sandpaper and the scissors and just cut around and took all the excess parts off and just sanded it uh, it's pretty explanatory uh, i do have the pictures in chrome right now So and that's what I did. All I did was cut around all of that excess paper that you see in the pictures. Um, and I just cut those with regular scissors and then I took the sandpaper. I believe it was, I got these at the dollar store. They're a P150. I have no poop coins, but it's what I had on hand. And I just cleaned it up, made the edges just a lot smoother. I could probably have spent a lot more time on it and got it just nice and clean. I will be bringing you guys down so you see this. This stage here is stage three, where we go ahead and mod podge with work blenders. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Elmer's All Blue. This is the 100%, I do not have it uh, diluted or anything like that. And what we're gonna do is just coat the whole bowl, uh, bowls in that and then let that dry over overnight once again. Um, and once again, if you guys are just coming along, we used two types of bowls. We covered these in saran wrap, just like this. We let uh, put in the clay, smush ground, made our bowls, let those dry. It took over a week to dry, guys. So remember how much water you have in your clay. Well, it depends on how long you will take. Um, and then just cut away and fix up what you need. If you have any cracks, just a little bit of water, a little bit smoothing out, perfectly done. We had a lot of cracks in this, but I kind of left. I think we make a little bit of uniqueness to them. But it, I sanded them down just enough so that they're visible, but not like crackable. Uh, Cause we don't want our bowls to crack, right? So let's go ahead and jump down to the next few and we'll start doing our Elmer's. It's gonna be in fast forward and then we'll go ahead and clip to show you how those are gonna look, um, how we do with any of the cracks. If I have anything to say, which always do <laughs> and in that next clip what we're going to do is go ahead after these are all dried overnight so we're going to go ahead and gesso it all one color and get that dried and that's also going to take another night to dry before we go ahead and paint so that's going to be what this video is all about yay these bowls are actually turned out pretty all right uh, it's really worth there for the beginning so i'll see you guys in the next clip Okay guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and either Maj Paj or glue. I'm using the Elmer's All Glue, this is 100%. I just use the uh, recycled containers because it's just a lot easier to contain. Get it? Haha. -ha. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and paint these up and I'll see you guys. And if you want, not a thick thick layer but enough to fill in all the crevices and don't worry about over putting too much but do remember any liquid that you put onto this it will soak it up so you're going to want to put a little bit more glue or mod podge or any of your sealer uh just a little bit more than you usually do Now this does not make it food safe or anything like that. These are just decorative bowls. So we've got the inside of this one, getting all of those crevices. Do remember any streaks, any cracks, anything like that that is visible will always be visible. So if you want to fix that while you can. All right, so that is our first inside bowl. Just coated that with a nice I'm gonna actually do this one. See how we have that huge crack in there? I sanded that down as best I could on both sides, so it kind of looks a little bit more natural. Now what I'm gonna do is because this is the paper clay, it's gonna kind of move in there because it's gonna soak up all of this um, liquid. So what I'm hoping to do is kind of fill that in with 
the glue and it will work its way, the crack will work its way into each other. So that is what I'm hoping with this one. And also what I'm doing is just kind of moving the glue, it's kind of with it around and just using my paintbrush to kind of smooth it into equal areas. So that if you see any pockets like this right here, you can just go ahead and <laughs> kind of, this is where you can have fun with it and kind of just mush it around. If you have any extra just remember what you see the glue will dry clear so any of these pockets of glue that you will see they will dry how glue dries so yeah let's go ahead and just fill that in get the sides going So we have two bowls for the insides. Next two, okay. And then what I just used is I get these at the dollar store too. They also come uh, two in a pack. And this is what I have the bowls drying on. So it dries at an equal pace. I mean, we just did that and that's pretty dry. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna go ahead and do the backs to show you just how easy that is. Um, once again, I grabbed one that has a super crack in it, so we're, so we're going to try to do the same thing as we did with the first one and just see if, if we can mix all of this goodness in there with that. So we'll start that off first. Here's another one, but... What's great about this clay is you can sand out any of these per imperfections if you have a thick enough uh, coat of clay. And you know me, I'm not worried about getting my hands dirty, so I'm getting the glue all over myself as well. But not enough to get the fingerprints into the clay. Okay. Get that uh, squeeze, trying to bend the crack, crack right there. Oops, see my fingerprint just totally took off that clay. And when we do the inside, that will also help. Just small places where my fingers have been, and yeah. Now we have cat hair, both feline and mine, <laughs> but no worries, just makes it a little bit more unique, right? And there's one coat for you small ones, get those picked up, now we're just bigger, he's a little bit more easier. Not too many cracks, but that glue's going to fit right in there. Just work that glue all the way around. And there we go.
And there we have it. We have the six poles half done, and I'll see you guys back in the next clip. And welcome to the next clip, guys. This is the work after I've done the cutting, the sandpaper, and one coat of the sealer. I'm not sure if you can see on one of the, the two middle bowls there, it has a white uh, film around it now. Um, see if you can see that around the edges. And that is from the glue where it was thicker than the rest on the other spots. You can still see the crack is still there, but not as prominent. Um, having the paint will also help out with that. So that's what I'm hoping with what's going on there. But I wanted to bring you guys in to show you this part right before I go ahead and mod podge the next step. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next clip.